Today, we're going to talk about the Chinese social media and geopolitical analysts' predictions and thoughts on the upcoming US election, which is in a few days. And I want to use this opportunity to do something new here. Um, I'm going to run a poll. Who would you vote for if you are an American citizen? So please participate. I want to see who this channel really support, okay? So I went through the Chinese social media the last few days and I summarized what the people are talking about and how majority is thinking about this uh, US election, okay? First, Kamala Harris. So when we think about what's at stake in this election, whoa, it's packed with some stuff. <laughs> it's packed with some fundamental stuff. <laughs> She's just not presidential material. I mean, her campaign planner and backers uh, try really hard to package her into something that's glamorous or, you know, presidential material, but she's just not it. And she made too many mistakes and Biden actually helped her make even more mistakes lately by calling, you know, Republican voters garbage or something. So... Yeah, Kamala Harris is clearly falling behind from Chinese perspective, okay? So the second thing which most Chinese agree upon is that Donald Trump should win, should, okay? But almost all of them believe Kamala Harris, backed by, you know, the ruling establishment, will pull off some nasty trick at the end to try to turn things around. I mean, look at here, okay, look at Professor Jin's most recent video here. He literally said in the thumbnail, Donald Trump, be careful of assassination. <laughs> that's, that's straight out. And, and this is not just him. And many, many geopolitical analysts also, also in their video, they hint something like that. Okay, here's the fundamental difference between Chinese mindset and the Western mindset when it comes to politics okay almost all chinese i would say every single chinese insists that politics is dirty and ugly especially when it comes to china but many of my friends in the west in europe here in the u.s believes that it's not that dirty at least not when it comes to the process like you can play different tricks to manipulate or to lie to your voters but there are certain red line which shouldn't be crossed according to my friends here in the united states and according to them it hasn't been crossed okay things like uh assassination intentionally okay so the many of my friends here consider the the trump assassination to be just theatrics actually um conjured up by Donald Trump himself or you know tempering with the election result I think at least majority of my friends believe that election is still clean in that way I I, I don't think so <laughs> I personally don't think so and I think those red lines have been crossed many times a long time ago just how much over the red line they're willing to go this time but that's just me maybe i'm just you know hypersensitive on this kind of things now same with almost all the geopolitical analysts that i see so far from china they all say that donald trump should win okay should win very likely to win but they just will not believe the establishment will let it go so easily uh, there must be some kind of contingency plan, right? Uh, if Donald Trump is projected to win, what's the plan B or plan C or plan something, right? There must be another crazy guy, a, a loner, right? With a gun hiding somewhere or, or CIA is going to leak some new document about what can it be? Maybe Trump and Elon Musk have some threesome with a transgender guy or something thinks that's ridiculous but might swing the election in a certain way towards Kamala Harris 
So basically, nobody believed that this is going to be a clean election.、Mm. I'm talking about you know the Chinese analysts, okay? So nobody can be sure that Donald Trump can win this election, even though we're only a few days、uh, from the election, and it's clear that Donald Trump is ahead according to many different pollings and statistics. And another observation, again according to the Chinese, no matter who wins this election, it's not going to be a smooth. Transition of power, but I guess that's becoming a new norm.、Mm, Professor Sun put out a video talking about the current mentality、uh, with American voters, in which that the Republicans believe that if Trump does not win the election, the election must be rigged. Okay, the Democrats must have cheated in some way. Uh, whether it is with the mail-in ballots or you know they find some ways to discourage Trump voters to vote,、uh, that they they do not believe that this election result can be anything other than a Trump victory. If it is not a Trump victory, it must be cheating somewhere in some way. Some Democrats are also quite extreme as well.、Uh, they buy into this narrative of Trump is threatening democracy and our democratic system no longer work if we cannot stop Trump from entering the White House again, and that Kamala Harris must win in order to save our democracy. That kind of narrative. So people who buy into the, this narrative will be more likely to act. I would say outside of the ordinary behavior to make sure Trump doesn't win. It's like if they see democracy as like、um, their own child, I guess, and fragile and precious, and someone outside of the house is trying to take him away. Then yeah, you do a lot of things to prevent that from happening, right? You know, run that guy over with a car or something. So. It's kind of dangerous and not sure what's going to happen.、Um, of course, this is not every American mindset, but it's hard to say that what's the portion of Americans who thinking this way and what they might do in the coming days and weeks, not just before the election, but also after the election. So it's difficult to see. So many、uh, geopolitical analysts in China is reserving their prediction to see what exactly is going to happen. Now, this election is also directly affecting the Chinese government's decision making、uh, because Chinese leadership has been pushing out many stimulation package for the economy because the economy is not doing too good in China. And many people complain that the stimulation、uh, stimulation package is not coming out fast and aggressive enough. Okay, so there is this assumption that China is waiting for the election result here in the United States before coming out with new policy. So if let's say Donald Trump wins the election. Then he might really put a huge tariff on、uh, Chinese imports, and that's gonna affect the manufacturing sector a lot in China. And Chinese government might have to come up with more aggressive、uh, stimulation package. If Trump, if Kamala Harris gets elected, then maybe the package would be smaller and more conservative. So they are in a way reserving their, you know, ammunition to see what exactly is going to happen. For me, I'm in Los Angeles, California. So all my friends are voting for Kamala Harris because they hate Trump. My wife, my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law—they are all voting for Kamala Harris. And I'm not a U.S. citizen, so I can't vote. And my wife just told me this morning that there's this Chinese student、uh, from Michigan. Who vote in the election, which she's not supposed to vote because she's not a U.S. citizen. And after voting, she turned herself in, and now she's facing up to four years in prison and a huge fine. If I get to vote, I'll probably vote for Donald Trump.、Um, I would like to see how he's going to go after the establishment.、Uh, if he will do it at all, maybe he's just lying.、Uh, I guess I can. 
persuade my wife to vote for Donald Trump as well? well would that be considered Chinese election interference? That's like a capital offense, right? Hmm. Your wife is an American citizen. Your children are American citizens. That's have correct. You, have you ever applied for American citizenship? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? 